Guide to the Collection. Jupiter 6 Galleries. Coalition Science Council Station, Jupiter Independent Territories. Copyright 2021 by David Peterson. All artwork copyright 2021 by David Peterson and Mandy Conti. Welcome to the J6G. Jupiter Gallery 1, Inner Systems Archaeology. Exhibit Number 45. Head of a Service Droid. Mando Broad Steps, Tau Set EF. Middle Sedimentary Layer, Circa 1.2K Local Cycles BT. Flexible Metal Resin, Mass Produced. Internal components sufficiently intact to reverse engineer the basic specifications. This is an important find, as almost no technology predating the AI wars has ever been discovered. CORE is currently negotiating with the SETI Protectorate for permission to reconstruct the original code through extrapolation of magnetic mapping data. Exhibit number 54. Knee joint from a military droid. Recovered on Talset EF. Downstream of Tur Dragon Falls. Superficial layer, circa 800 local cycles BT. Specimen includes femur, tibia, and cruciate ligaments, but is missing the patella. Unusually robust contingent of definites, and repair nights, were inadvertently reactivated during the recovery process, leading to contamination of several devices, including the dig coordinator. Emergency protocols were enacted, and the coordinator was successfully evacuated to a nearby coalition facility, where he is expected to reboot without incident. Exhibit Number 56 Book Repository from Caves at Hawsdorf Southeast, Trappist 1D Redundant Layer, Circa 900 Local Cycles BT Unique Intricately crafted solander phase box is built from combinations of brass, burnished steel, polished stone, and glass. In use for more than a local century, and possibly concurrent with scroll burning practices at the southern court. These finds were initially interpreted as a reaction to the destructive excesses of the Hausdorff dynasty, in other words, a ceremonial attempt to preserve knowledge rather than reduce it to ashes. More recently the researchers Pino et al have noted that since none of the Solander boxes incorporate hinges or clasps, and all appear designed to remain permanently shut, they in fact represent a continuation of the elitism of the scroll-burning culture. Specifically an attempt to render knowledge inaccessible, just by different means. Incidentally, most of the texts, which are laser etched onto sheets of natural resin, either detail the daily activities of socially prominent individuals or describe how to operate devices. Exhibit number 62. Automated local administrator for the Big Bad Empire. Trappist 1D, Pascal's Bog. Circa 9,800 local cycles BT. At its height, the reign of terror initiated by the tyrannical AI known as Big Bad, encompassed every system within 70 light years of Tea Garden's Star B. Automated processing nodes such as this one were installed on each annexed world, to coordinate the subjugation of the indigenous population, with an eye to plundering their resources more efficiently. On the destabilization of the empire, the administrators were left to face the pent-up resentment of their charges, and most ended up slowly and creatively disassembled. This rare find escaped the fate of similar servers, as it was tipped into a lake, where it lodged in the sediment and remained forgotten until the bog was dredged. Note that in line with coalition regulations, neutralization of the neural material was confirmed prior to salvaging. Exhibit number 63. Replica of an administrative communications device from the shared dynastic treasury, 3R1 Hall, on Glees 581C. Central City, date unknown. Much of the information on this reclusive culture must be inferred, as asking questions is considered bad taste. It is believed that this instrument was used to hold summit meetings between the leaders of the two colonies in the temperate band on 581C 
and the home world, almost certainly 581G. The signal from 581G was somehow projected from the central dais, while the central city signal appeared on the projector above, and their sister colony, now in ruins, below. Nothing beyond a printing scan was permitted, so we can only speculate on the technology, likely a variant of phase-enhanced solid holography. Exhibit number 67. Deep Sea Nightmare from the Before Time. Indicative of the highly refined metalwork in the dynastic treasury on Gleed's 581C. Smoked bronze casting gilded with copper and gold, copper and silver, and other alloys to create subtle color contrasts, then worked and polished, and finally completed with spot applications of varnish. The artist appears to have had an animal in mind, which is problematic as there is no complex life outside the colony walls, and certainly no deep seas anywhere on the planet. An intriguing possibility is that the piece represents a collective memory of something on Homeworld 581G, which is known to have substantial water reserves, but remains unexplored due to a reluctance to establish ties with the coalition. Exhibit number 69. Analysis of the artifacts in the dynastic treasury on Glee's 581C has revealed an unexpected find. This is a functional seal, matching the lock on the entrance to the ruins of the sister colony, on the opposite side of the temperate zone. Official inquiries about its founding and loss have gone unanswered, in part because asking questions is discouraged in this culture. Coalition Archaeology plans to investigate the viability of using a 4D print of this seal to gain access, and mounting a low-key reconnaissance mission, without asking permission of the dynastic representatives, so as not to give offense. In addition to being enormously important in its own right, Colony 1 might provide information about enigmatic homeworld 581G, the only planet in the history of the Coalition to decline first contact.